Hey guys, my name is 551 we're back with more Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I say Ocarina, I say Ocarina, I went through the wrong door. Did I? No, I went through the right door. Confusion in the first 10 seconds, okay. Let's not go through there, not go through there. Build a fire piece. not go there. Let's go this way, actually. And that will dispel the fire for a short time. For a short time. I just said a short time. Yeah, anyway, now that I know the route, let's uh, start it from here. Actually, it won't matter because Link will be looking at the dispelled fire. Okay, this is where the is, actually. If not, then it's the um, room where I get. No, oh! you numb school. Oh yeah, I remember. Give me bombs for that. And then that'll release. The... Yep, this is the mini boss. Make sure you have your hook shot out. I'm a flare dancer. Okay, so take out your hook shot, rape him in the face, and then walk onto him. Just go around. Attack his face off. And he'll go back in. And he'll change color. Get back in, little midget. Yeah, I think once you do two strikes to him, he'll go back in the fire. Um, anyway. I need to be kinda close for him because he doesn't have very good range. And there we go. Now, he'll leave us the something or other. No, he won't. I guess climb up onto here. Yeah, climb up and it'll take you up. I guess I'm a little stupid for not knowing that. This is it. No. What am I... Re uh, having multiple lapses of forgetfulness and such. Okay. So what you should do is come up here, stand on this ledge, drop a bomb off like a boss, and then stand over here. And go ahead and climb up. If I need a key, I'm a, I'm gonna shoot someone. Okay, there we go. Okay. This is it. This is it. Okay, now this room. Um, hit this switch. And hold on. Let me scope it out first. Yeah, up there, you hit this switch, and then it will dispel that fire. Hit the switch and get ready to run like a mother. Because, yeah. Like most things in the Zelda universe, you're timed. And here we go with the dungeon item. We haven't got the compass, but we've got the dungeon item. You got the thing, and it's a Megaton hammer. Use it to smash and break junk. That could be taken. So many different ways. It's not even funny. Fire keys, I hate you. Yeah, that can be taken so many different ways. I'm gonna shot you in the face. While you were still on fire. That would have been cool. But no. Go ahead and ruin my kill streak. Okay. So get out your newly acquired Megaton Hammer. I usually call it the Megaton Megaton Hammer. But for some reason, right now I'm calling it the Megaton Hammer. Guess I'm a little slow, okay? There we go. The, the keys just landed on the ground, did it not? Okay. And anyway.
anyway, stand on, stand on that um, thing, or just pound it with your hammer. Oh no, we're stuck. What do we do? Well, use the hammer. Stand to the side. And rape its life. And there we go. Okay, that works. Fairly well, actually. Anyway, hit this uh, thing right here. That'll cause all the stairs to fall. Now, if I'm not mistaken, you're gonna need to take a box. We haven't seen this since uh, Jabu Jabu, but uh, whatever. Uh, take a box and set it down on this switch. Okay, let's go. This. Hit its button. Look at this, we're back here. So now what you do... This switch looks rusted! Yeah, so you just have to hit it with your Megaton Hammer. I'm just gonna keep calling it Megaton Hammer, because I've gotten used to it apparently. Any, um, now you need to take out your ocarina. There we go. And, uh, play this long time. And that'll move the block. So you can, act oh, weird camera. So you can get back up here. Now jump across, maybe not. Hold on, give me a second. I'm slow when it comes to Zelda games, just remember. Jump on the block and go across, but not before pulling out your Megaton Hammer. Megaton Hammer. And um, this, by the way, is how you get the magic upgrade I was trying to get earlier. Anyway, hit that, and that will free the Goron. Free the Goron. It is down there. Uh, I'll tell you a secret for saving me. A door is hidden inside the statue at the entrance to this temple. But the Goron's special crop won't work on it. Don't you have anything stronger? Stronger than a bomb? I think not. He is for me. At least they're not ridiculous like in Master Quest where they give you a frickin' five rupee chest in the first friggin' temple in the dungeon. Okay, anyway, jump up on this thing and use your Megaton Hammer. Not before killing that keys, though. And you'll fall down to the first room. And surprisingly, you didn't take damage. Okay. Okay, now go into, like, actually into the first room. And do you remember seeing a statue right by the entrance to the right of the stairs? Uh, that's a wall piece. Okay. Um, and use your Megaton Hammer. Hello. And this door actually does require a key. That was kind of cool. Okay, so go ahead and open it. This is how you get the boss. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. We haven't got the compass. Just so you guys, if you guys didn't know, um, if it, if the keys land in the fire, they will, um, catch on fire again, and you're a like like. Oh no! I don't like you. Apparently it's not too hot in this time. Okay. And one jump attack will take care of them. Now, it'll spit out your shield and tunic again. Huh? 
put on our tunic and shield again. And go through this door. Now this room. Another boss fight. There, down. Anyway, we'll, um, run a long time, so in the next part, we will continue on with this, uh, mini boss fight. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.